Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. So today's job is a line boring job. This is a jib section off of a log loader. And many of you saw Curtis at Cutting Edge Engineering in Australia did a, a what he called a dipper. Well, this is the same thing. A jib in the United States is apparently a dipper in Australia. Um, and I had this up on the boring mill the day his video came out. And I wasn't gonna shoot it, but I guess I'm going to now because I've had a lot of people ask me to. So the uh, this is all wore out, egged out, and we need to bore this out. We'll make a sleeve that goes in there fairly tight. We'll weld that in, and then there's a plastic uh, nylatron bushing we put in these, and we've bushed everything on these over the years, different ones with nylatron. This is the last one to rebuild. That's the pin that actually fits in there. So it's very wore out. So in my last line boring video, I set up uh, my bearings with using the threaded rod and everything, and, and I was getting a lot of movement. So I came up with this idea. And this is basically a tailstock um, that the bearing can bolt to this, and this also slides up and down and bolts to the table. I made three of them so I can have three different supports. It'll take my inch and a quarter and my one inch bearings um, easily, and then I've got some more in mind to build um, that'll take up to a two inch bar, so a two inch bearing. But this was something I came up with fairly quick to get the job done. Now, I know I've said this before, but setup is always the worst part of any job on the horizontal boring mill. That once you get it set up, they always go pretty well, but uh, setup is always time consuming, and especially with new tooling, new fixtures, and but this thing ain't moving. It's pretty rigid. So let's get some cutters in there and let's start boring. Well, that first pass went pretty well. I'm going to take my cutter back out, grind it a little more, and we're going to take another pass because we didn't get full cleanup down here in the bottom. And I knew we wouldn't, or this is going to be a few passes. So let's get that done. So we got the first side all bored out. We're not going for precision on this because we're gonna make a plug that gets welded in there. And the nice thing about doing it this way is once you weld that plug in, if it goes bad, if the bore goes bad again or starts wearing, you can grind that out or torch it out or whatever, but you'll get to the back to that original bore and then you can make a new plug to weld back in there 
that's uh, already bored for your bushings. So let's get the cutter moved over to the other end and let's get this thing finished. Well, let's get this thing all taken apart and see how it looks. So there you have it, another line boring job on the books. Um, it bored up really nice. I made some nice new tooling and fixturing. Um, it, it worked really well this time. Um, and I'm very happy with the outcome. Now I'll make up some plugs that'll go inside there um, with a chamfer on them. They'll just tap in nice and they'll be snug, weld them up. And then if this ever fails again, we just grind that weld out, pop those out, put new ones in, weld them back in. Pretty simple, easy fix. Um, and then obviously those plugs do get a bushing in yet besides, so we don't have problems there. Um, so that's, that's a pretty good, uh, quick, easy repair for something like this. And since I'm so far behind here in the shop, I've been getting really busy. I'm just gonna end the video here. Um, you know how I'm fixing it, you know how it's all together, but you wanted to see the line boring. I know that's what you were after. So with that, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time. <laughs>